Almost like with Call of the Night, the introductions are over and we are off to the races with progression. Even though there are a few side chapters, we mainly are put through a main arc of Miko overcoming her fears and facing a spirit head-on, no matter how terrifying it can be. She makes a resolve, or at least her current resolve, which is to help her friends. The message being, what we can do for others. The first quarter of the volume is a transition of cute horror slice of life chapters that looms over the fact they're about to enter our serious conflict in the series. The best of the group being when Miko finally gets her opportunity to scream and cry in reaction to scary things. As Miko and her friends walk through the haunted maze, she finally gets her moments of confrontation, getting the opportunity to shout stay away from me at them and feeling good about it. The slow build up of friendship with Yuri is cute, especially at the one point when Yuri is trying to explain that she's in the nurse's office to visit a friend, clearly something she's never said before, and the fact that Miko cares for her safety as well, telling her to eat with them, all about the subtle theme of what we can do for our friends. Next we got the beginning of Miko vs Zen's mom. With this arc, Miko gets her first taste of understanding the spirits around someone. While well, looking back on the first volume, Miko assumed that all the dead cats around him were showing that he was a danger to them, but we later find out that they represent all the cats he took care of before they died, because they showed him sympathy, although it felt like they were haunting him, and they were also attached to Zen's mom, who resented the idea of him loving anything other than her. One thing they definitely push through is that no one truly is alone in this sorrow. We find out that Zen relies on his friend to help him finding stray cats, Hannah has Miko look after her when her spirits wither, and Miko has both Hannah and Yurio to lean on for escaping either circumstances or to lean on after going through another scare. One important part when meeting Zen's friend Satoru is that we never truly know others until we try to understand. Because of the limited information Miko was given, she made her own conclusions about Zen. But with the help of his friend, we find and understand what's truly haunting and cursing him. Just like Yuria with Miko, she only knows so much because she's currently only willing to understand as much. The fact that his friend not only understands his current situation, but also knows what was going on when he was younger, truly shows how much he did care for his friend. It's also that the friendships we make push us to do better. Knowing that Hannah is in trouble, Miko takes the step forward in confronting Zen, or at least his mother. In doing so, she inspires Zen to confront his landlord and finally adopt a cat. And with Miko's character growth this volume, she sets out her main goal because she doesn't want her friend to suffer anymore. But when understanding Zen, she realizes that he's also suffering. She knows that he isn't the problem anymore and that he also needs saving. She accepts that she was mistaken about him and knows she has to do something she's feared since the beginning, but still looks into the demon straight in the eyes and confronts it. Just like the volume before, the art takes it up another level. We get multiple double pages illustrations, amazing designs with a mother looking absolutely terrifying. They really put a lot of time and passion into these panels. Moments having such emotion, you can hear a soundtrack in your head. Your own, by the way, not what the show has. They're definitely building to something bigger with the twin spirits and the overlord watching over Miko. Again, I wonder if they're slowly trying to change direction into Miko becoming some kind of medium or shaman. Sort of like Sixth Sense, but maybe not so much Constantine. This is still supposed to be Slice of Lifestyle. Anyway, it's an amazing volume with fantastic art and character build. Can't wait to read along with the fourth volume soon. So yeah, thanks for watching, and go read a book.